Women's football globally is said to be generally behind the men's game. However, in the last 10 years, we've seen the global football body, FIFA, make substantial progress to improving it. Uh, we have already more than doubled uh, the prize money for the Women's World Cup this year, um, going from 15 to 50 billion. From improved prize money at the Women's World Cup to the fans. One more thing we've also seen is more top influential female footballers emerging. Winner of the best FIFA Women's Player 2020 is Lucy Bronze. But away from all that noise and glamour, the beginnings for these football stars can be humbling and sometimes divergent. You have to be when I go out of Nigeria or when I go abroad and sign a professional contract. This is a tale of a rising star, but not your everyday football tale. This diamond is still in the rough. Faki AC Anthony Abisola's football journey is a usually unusual story. Typical social media influencer with over 18,000 followers on Twitter and still growing to getting a sensational recognition and sponsorship for a resolve and talent from one of Nigeria's top top footballer. Her story is one has travelled over 300 kilometers from her hometown in Okesha, Akiti State, Nigeria, to right here in Lagos, but foundationally taking flights on the Bed app Twitter. I meet her for the first time here at the Jigo Community Primary School Stadium in Lagos after making contact over three months ago and I start by asking her what she's doing here in Nigeria's busiest city. So why are you so far away from home? Mm, because there are a lot of opportunities in Lagos and when I stay in Nikiti, I can't get that much opportunity there. You know, so I just decided to come to Lagos to, to chase a better, like, have better opportunities and, you know, in a, in a civilized place like Lagos, yes. Indeed, Lagos is Nigeria's land of opportunities and infrastructure development and commerce over the years have not just seen the state's population massively rise since the last national census in 2006, but have also seen young, ambitious footballers like Abisola make their journey here. She tells me she's on trial with this recently relegated Nigeria Women's Football League side, Dreamstar Ladies FC for the time being, and also working to improving her game with the team. Matlalo now. Tochuko. Nigeria looking to make history. It is turning out. Hands, hearts in their mouth. Motlalo, Motlalo, and South Africa certainly have failed, and Nigeria are the ninth champions in this competition. History for Nigeria, nine times champions, and the very first time an expert coach has picked them to win the title. Come out in Abbey. And the glittering trophy. Chikwali, the captain of Nigeria. This team, Nigeria, are the 2018 Total Men's Africa Cup of Nations. 
Nigeria's senior women's national team, the Super Falcons, are nine times African champions. And while that statistics flatter, those successes over the years is yet to ripple down on female football development in the country. From fundamental financial issues for players to not having the Nigerian women's football league games on television. But perhaps Abisola's seeming contemporary social media style could help NWFL players breach the lack of screen time for their league games slightly. Twitter is a very powerful app, very influence, like what can I call it, very powerful app. Social media in general, social media is very powerful. Yes, in terms of this day, modern something, especially Twitter. Twitter is a powerful place. Yes, it's a powerful place. I'm really glad I joined Twitter. Abisola joined Twitter in 2018, and since then, she's experienced a steady, pacey rise in followership and fame, and that is rubbing off immensely on her young football life. When did you join Twitter and when did it occur to you to start posting your football videos there? Mm, I joined Twitter in 2019, but I started posting my videos in 2020. And that was when I was confident enough to like come online and tell people what, and show people what, that this is what I do, this, this is who I am. Yes. But for her, the magic and positives of social media have also come with its ills. It makes me feel so happy when I see comments about people, like when people appreciate me for what I do and when they encourage me. It makes me feel so happy and so happy like I'm doing the right thing and I'm going through, I'm, I'm, I'm going through the right way. Yes, it makes me. Why some of them, I don't really look at the negative comments. So when I get hundreds of positive comments and I get like one negative one, I don't even focus on the negative ones. I focus on the positive comments. Everyone enjoys a happy success story, be it at the early stage or in its maturity. And that's why on the 11th of March 2021, when Abisola woke up that afternoon to check up her Twitter page, her football dream, unknown to her, had taken a major stride. I was very happy the day I saw the news. Like, I was, I was busy, I was sleeping, but I started getting a lot of notifications. I was like, what's happening? So I had to check my phone and I saw her tweets. I was very happy, very, very happy. It took me on a way because I wasn't informed about it. So I was very happy. And the fact that someone, someone up there, like someone big like that is watching me, like actually is, is like, like that person is, is, knows what I do, like knows me. And like, I was very happy that day. Super Falcons of Nigeria striker Desire Baranose, who is based in France with Dijon and her foundation, had declared her support for Abisola. But what really caught the eye about this social media footballer? So why did you choose Abisola? What stood out about her? Okay, I've seen a couple of her clips and um, and uh, she, I mean, she's not bad at all. What she does with the ball and and then when she's playing, I saw one she was playing with guys, the way she shields the ball, you know, and um, I saw some quality, I saw some potentials. And um, and then uh, my, my I reviewed it with my management team as well. And, um, you know, they, they had, um, they saw the same thing that I saw. And uh, I mean, I, I think she, 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 she's good. She's good. So just maybe with a bit of, um, a bit of um, encouragement and uh, and uh, steps in the right direction. I think um, she would um, she would make a great footballer. So, and that talent I saw, I I I thought maybe if I get involved and try to help in my only two way, you know, to get her out there, and um, you never really know. Just um, do what you can and and let feet do the rest, you know. Both parties are now set for a meeting during the summer holidays after the French women's football season comes to an end, and that will help shape the direction of impact. She's in my portfolio now, so first and first, I'm going to meet with her once I get back into the country for the summer holidays. I will meet with her, you know, have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and um, uh, ask some questions what she really wants and uh, that way from there we'll understand how to go about helping her you know and then I'll provide her with um, 
kids because she's currently playing at the moment our provider with kids and um for the apparel she needs to to forge your head and then from our conversation we we'll determine mm-hmm. uh, my, <clears throat> my next um action so mm-hmm. w- w- I'm, I'm doing it one step at a time once um i'm done with her depending on the time frame depending on what she wants then I can now go ahead and identify the next person and then we'll take it up from there. And if you get thousands and thousands of views, likes, comments, retweets for your semi-professional football clip on social media, you're allowed to have dreams, lofty dreams. You have to be, when I go out of Nigeria, when I go abroad and sign a professional contract, yes, and I play, and I play for Nigeria too, yes. When I join this park, park ones, when I represent my country, yes, that would be a dream come true for me. Unlike so many young girls growing up in Nigeria, Abisala did not have parental issues to her football career choice. In fact, she's one of the lucky ones. They are in support of everything. Yes, they support me in everything, in moral support, financial support, everything. They are my biggest fan. They support me in everything, with everything. I mean, unlike most Nigerian parents here, <laughs> who really don't want their kids to play football, my parents my, didn't allow me to play football. Mine are not like that. Mine are not like that. I'm a family. They support me with everything. Is there, do you have support people in your family? No, I don't. But my dad watches football a lot. He's a, he's a Chelsea fan. Yeah, he's a football fanatic. So. <laughs> Is that why you started Chelsea? <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Everyone in my family supports Chelsea. With over 200 professional female footballers in Nigeria, it's interesting to know that not many of these players are harvesting the sheer velocity of these many social media platforms. From Twitter to Instagram, Facebook or even TikTok, they're just not visible. I make contact with some of these players and try to find out just how well they use social media to sell their profession to the many unimagined opportunities on these applications. My best social media platform is Instagram because I'm able to follow most of my mentors, footballers and also get to know so many things happening around the globe. It's a very, very educating platform. Yeah. and. I upload most of my videos on Instagram because there were a lot of people are on the platform and it's a way of educating and letting people know this is what you're into, this is your career and this is what you do for a living. How often do you post the football videos on your social media handles? Once in a while. Hmm. Okay. Do you think you're using social media in the right way to promote your football career? No, I don't think so. Why you don't like social media or something? I'm not a social media type. I'm on Facebook. My name on Facebook is um Polyfi Striker Vivianovich. I'm on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram as well at ekchukovivian15. If you want to watch some of my matches, you can search me on YouTube. Vivian Ikechuku. Interestingly, why these pro players say they post their football videos across the social media platforms? I take some time to look through them. And all I see are mostly pictures. It's like saying you can sing, but then go on to post a picture of yourself in a studio, not singing. The entire idea of marketing really is someone with a product, someone with a service is trying to connect with potential you know, buyers, your audience, your consumers, your customers. So you're looking for a venue, you're looking for that connecting point. You know, and before people used to use traditional media, newspaper, because you know that people would read in newspaper, people would watch television, people would be on radio, you know, but comparatively, if you look at the present age, the world records 4.72 billion users of the internet on a daily basis. So it has, the numbers on the internet has skyrocketed, it has gone way beyond television. I personally feel like this question is 10 years late, in the sense that right now, social media has like the largest number of pool of crowd, you know, and so it's, it's the place where a product owner is, so someone that renders a service can readily meet your audience. You know, so social media is that connecting platform. Is that is is that it's the biggest marketing tool. So I feel like if you're not on social media, you're missing out on this number of people that come on a daily, you know, to interact, to socialize, or whatever the cost is. 
getting attention with your clips as a footballer on social media these days is about the craft of video editing. The best part of your games, of course, is about consistency and tagging the people in the same industry and sometimes with a little begging too. This might not be the most effective style, but it gets the job of visibility done. Social media helps you, you, it helps promote you and it helps put you, put you out there, you know, make the world see you and all of that. And kudos to her, you know, for putting up her clips on the social media because if, if she hadn't done that, I'm not sure I would have been able to see. And perhaps this and many more heart lifting stories from social media can further encourage more Nigerian female footballers based here in the country playing in an untelevised league to become more social media footballers. Is for everyone. Everyone has access to your your content. You know, so you know it's it's not. I don't think it's even a comparison. Like television is not there now. There's social media. Take advantage. No, no one should be telling you. You should let let. There should be there should be a stance for every creator, every artist, every footballer, everyone that has something to give to the world. You should be very, 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 um, very you know serious about how you create and post your content. So footballers, you know that this is the gift that you have. Especially for female footballers, right? When you consider the fact that you don't have enough press, you don't have, have as much mentions, you have to convince the world by taking the extra step to create this content. If it's you just juggling football, if it's you, you know, during your training sessions and putting it out there, you know, you never know how far this will travel. There are lots of, loads of platforms that you can utilize, you know, to this regard. And then it's going to blow, get international recognition. From entertainment to education and sport, social media has and still is playing incredible roles in changing lives around Nigeria and Africa, despite the numerous limitations. And for this talented, young, ambitious footballer from Nigeria's southwestern region, Faki AC and Tony Abisola is hoping that the magic of this bad app shoots her football career right to the skies.